Regarding the reign of the Ancient Ones, Savar himself appeared in a vision to the first prophetess of Kilbra. His words are recorded in the Tome of Sivar. There shall come a time when one who has the heart of a Kilrathi, but is not Kilrathi born, shall rain cleansing fire down upon us, and Nathrak, a time of great darkness, shall embrace us. Bucket of bolts in the middle of nowhere. Don't worry about it, little man. I brought something here to pass the long, cold night. It's like a breeze, especially with the right company, if you know what I mean. See, I got some no. Yes. Altarian brandy? That's contraband. Where did you get it? It's a diplomatic park. I borrowed it. From the consulate general's Ooh. private reserve? Well, put it away, Stoop, before we end up in the brig. What are you worried about, Stoop? This isn't like fight school anymore. Ten hut! <laughs> Se 
second lieutenants Casey and Garrett, I presume. Maestro. Maestro? Okay, Maestro. I'm first lieutenant Jean Talbot. Call sign Stiletto. I'm acting commander of the Diamondback Squadron. Your initial assignment here on the Midway. How did a first lieutenant like her get to rate an entire squadron? Because I'm that good, Mr. Garrett. Hmm. Apparently, your reputation precedes you. It seems the CAG would like to discuss that little incident with the Altarian Consulate's daughter. So it really was his primary reserve, huh? Shut up. And you, Mr. Casey. Do you think that having a famous father is going to cut you any slack around here? You're dead wrong. With all due respect, I'm here on my own merits. Let's hope so. Because around here, you live or die by your flight stats. Understood? I did get the highest scores of any cadet at the academy. You did? And the most demerits, according to your record. Listen. This is a make-or-break shakedown cruise for us. I don't have time to play babysitter. Got it? Now get yourselves registered on the system. And stow this swag before the CAG sees it. You're in enough trouble as it is. That went well, didn't it? Welcome to the Midway. I think she liked me. You think? Yeah, I think the lieutenant liked me. Stiletto. Stiletto. I what that means. Check out the rest of this bad boy. Great! The keg is waiting, Mr. Garrett. I mean, I almost feel sorry for the guy because he's flying against the maniac. Not. <laughs> but anyway, so he pulls a brake right in front of me, right? Bam! Cat on my right, dust, all right? Wingman doesn't even see me. Okay, over there. Boom, boom, boom! Kitty hey, litter. Take his... Anyway, all right. Third cat, image recon, boom! Right into his stovepipe, dust! He's gone. Hi, I'm Casey. Meanwhile, all right, the chief cat, right? There's some, some like, the... Something smelling here. Now, something stinks in here, doesn't it? My eyes are watering. Oh, you know what? It's only one thing in the universe that could smell that bad. A plebe. Fresh off the recovery deck and still reeking of the academy. Shoot, plebe. Get lost, okay? This is in the sandbox. All right, this is the table for the big, big boy. Hey. So this is the table for the big boys, Black Widow Squadron. Wow, man, it's just getting to the good parts. All right, um, I'm saving the best for later. All right, hang out. I don't want to see you at this table again, plebe. <laughs> Congratulations. You just met and pissed off Maniac. A legend in his own mind. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? I'm Casey. Hey, I'm O'Hearn. They call me Zero. Since you're new here, let me show you around pilot country. You're currently in the rec room. Home to malcontents, drunkards, <laughs> and troublemakers. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of people. Over oh, there's your self-serve bar. There's your flight simulator. And of course, the infamous kill board. Come on, there's much, much more. 
Locker's here. Inside, find your flight suit and your gear. When we place. Oh, yeah. All neat and shiny. <laughs> Just like us. Mm -hmm. And of course, what state of the art carrier would be complete without Big Brother? From the flight log computer, you can log into the main system, just like in flight school. Only now, it's all for real. Anyway, once you uh, get yourself acquainted, come find me in the briefing room when you're ready. Casey, my man. Billions of confed credits at work. This is the nerve center of our work here on this ship. No map table? <sighs> Ancient history. This is the ISIS system. Brand new. It's tied to all the computers on the ship. It'll tell us where we're going and what we're doing according to the brainiacs upstairs. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. The tactical intelligence and science divisions. Anyway, it all gets distilled down to the screens on our desks. It's easy. Point and click. You know? Yes. <laughs> Call it our window to the world. If it works, that is. Casey, meet Dallas. A resident voice of doom and general naysayer. <sighs> Probably writing another letter to Senator Taggart as we speak. <laughs> Not so, Zero. It's a very appropriate name. I am, in fact, tracking my investments. Five more years at this rate, and I can retire a wealthy man. Yeah. You see, Dallas does it for the cash. It's not just a job and all that. You think everything is a conspiracy, don't you? Cash is what it's all about. How much money do you think Confed saved by building a standalone carrier force, namely this behemoth of a ship? God! Who cares? This tub gets hold, what then? They put all their eggs into one little basket with no backup. <sighs> Doesn't matter. Confed's got their greedy little fingers into everything. It's a few credits here and there. Well, don't tell that to Commodore Blair. After all, the Midway was his idea. Oh, no. Not Blair again. For years at the Academy, all we hear about is Blair this and Blair that. Savior of the Confederation, most decorated pilot, blah, blah, blah. What is a guy like? 4,000 years old? God, I think I've heard just about everything. Except that he was on board the Midway. Have we met, Lieutenant? Casey, Lansar, second lieutenant, confed number C26354. Casey, huh? So you're the Iceman's kid. I heard you were coming on board. You know, I flew with your father. He's a good pilot. Always followed orders. Knew when to keep his big mouth shut. Goodbye, career. Feel so bad. I hear there's always openings in the diplomatic corps. <laughs> Come on, let's get you a drink. Put those flames out. Good first day at work, honey. Oh, yeah. I've been on board less than an hour, and I've already managed to piss off just about every senior officer in sight, including Commodore Blair. I go there. Stop right there, gentlemen. This here is Diamondback seating. Take a look around. Most of these pilots are still kids. They're they're too green. Talk to the captain. Who 
Who's that talking to Blair? We don't even have a full complement of ships. That's the CAG, Commander Air Group. She's as hard as they come. Huh. Yeah. We've met. And it wasn't pretty. All right. Let's get started. We have a change of plans. As of now, the Midway is on full alert status. At 0400 hours, we received what appeared to be a Kilrothi distress call. Tactical has tried to verify this message fragment, but so far, whoever sent it has stopped transmitting. Since we're the closest vessel, HQ has ordered us to assess the situation. Attention, Captain on the deck. As you were. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. A live feed has just come in from our SWAX patrol that's jumped ahead to the Hereka system. This is a need to know for all squads. Open channel 3-1. can be established with any Kilrathi ships. On recommendation of Colonel Decker, I've decided that as of now, this is a marine operation. Commander? All right, before we begin, Lieutenant Casey, Lieutenant Talvert has recommended you lead the Diamondbacks based on your exemplary academy record. This is highly, highly unusual, Lieutenant. This is not a training yeah. exercise. Don't disappoint her. Pilots, now check your ISIS for mission details and assignments. Before I dismiss you, I believe Commodore Blair has a few words. Commodore? As you may know, the... Midway is not yet fully operational, and for many of you, this will be your first mission outside the Academy. Keep in mind, you're Confed's very best. Watch your butts out there. Good luck, people. Dismissed. the opportunity. I won't let you down. Forget it, Lieutenant. Just make sure I don't have to come and save your sorry ass. <laughs> what? Is it me? Yes. <laughs> come on, let's fly. guidance system again. I need that working on the double and tell O'Neill to have hangar rams number two and seven back online. We got real problems here. Christ, doesn't anything work around here? Go. Um, um. What's your damage, flyboy? Excuse me? Did you trash your fighter or you just lost? Um, yeah, I mean, no. I mean, I, I just landed. I Don't they teach you no nuts anything in school? When you land, you check your stats there. Then you head to the chute, which leads to decontam. Got it? God, I hope you fly better than you take directions. See ya. What are you still standing here for? What do you want?
Would you sit down? Wait a second, wait, hold it. Just stop. This was not part of the deal. They're actually shooting out there. We're talking live ammo. I don't want to get your panties in a bind or anything, but when you joined on with Confed, didn't anyone actually tell you that getting shot at was part of the deal? Yeah, well, we're really not sure who they are yet. I heard one of Decker's men said that the dead cats on board were more than just blown away. They're more like cut up in little pieces. Cut up? Dissected. Almost ritually. Science Division's working on breaking the code on that black box that Dicker's men brought in. They asked Rachel to help, but she's got her hands full bringing the ship back online. No telling how long that'll take. Zero said something about it. The cat's being cut up. Is there any truth to that? Absolute truth. Cut up into little cat chunks. Decker's men also found a single Kilrothy word scrawled in blood on the deck. Even they were creeped out by it. What, what word? What, what word? Now my Kilrothy ain't so good. Nathrak. Nathrak? What's that mean? Supposed to mean night or something like that. Darkness, actually. Void. Evil. on his face. I thought he was going to lose it right there in the cockpit. <laughs> That's funny. You sound just like him. Excuse me? Like Maniac. I'm still amazed at how fast you hotshots get full of adrenaline and testosterone. You just set a new record, stud. Sounds like a good mix to me. Wrong. It's a dangerous mix. Casey, duty calls. I'm sure you and Mrs. Freeze here will be very happy together. Ciao. Sorry, maybe we got off to a bad start. I'm Casey. Science officer Aurora Finley. I read your report. Oh? What's a science officer doing reading a classified mission report? Well, ask yourself this question, Lieutenant. If you're not flying against cats out there, what then? That's where I come in. Well, maybe they're renegades or something. I don't think so. Well, right now we're analyzing all the data we can to find out. Look, Casey, you seem like a nice guy. I just hate to see you crash and burn, that's all. All right, people, we have a lot of ground to cover. You'll find your mission data on your ISIS. Let's get started. Very well, pilots. You have your mission specs. Good luck. Dismissed.
Look, Casey, I, uh, I've been thinking about the way that I snapped at you the first time that we met. And, uh, it's just been hell around here, and I... I'm Rachel Coriolis. Good news, Chief. Crack the code, and if you write the lock, the morning's brought back. It's my cue. Maybe I'll see you around. be a whole lot better if I had a one-way ticket home. We were in a fine mess. Look, Dallas. No, I... you look, Flyboy. And I will talk very slowly. The Kilrathi were tied up on the feudal planets. They've got problems of their own. The border worlds were, uh, dead quiet. What with the Black Lance out of the picture, things have been pretty cozy around here for quite some time. And the last thing I expected was actually having to fight. <laughs> I am so hosed. We joined Confed to do a job. There are no guarantees. Is that supposed to make me feel better? <laughs> no. Look, I don't know what we're dealing with here, but whatever it is, it's gonna have to be stopped. And we're the only ones out this far. So all we have to rely on is each other. That's it. Now, until we get word back to Confed, it's gonna have to be you for me, me for you, 100%. Got it? Quiet, please. Quiet. I just left Tactical. We've developed a new strategy. Please check your ISIS for your assignments. Good luck out there. We're depending on you. Dismissed. Hey, Frosty. 100%. 150%. Go kick some alien ass. All right. Our day at the office? No! Everything's fine. Why? Well, it's just I've never seen anybody drink like that before. And live. Well, you want to see it again? All right, all right. Hold on. What's wrong? You want to know what's wrong? Everything. Science Division hasn't got a clue what we're up against. All we've got are a bunch of unknown contacts, some dead cats, and a cryptic story about the end of the world. I've never dealt with wait, 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 wait. End of the world? The Kilrothi's Nathrak. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Zero said it means, uh, darkness. Not just darkness, Casey. Evil. I looked it up in the archives. There's an ancient Kilrothi prophecy about the end of the world, and the Nathrak figures prominently. Well, didn't that happen with the destruction of Kilroth? Well, not to get too superstitious on you, Flyboy, but according to the Kilrothi, that was just the beginning. 
prophecy doesn't mean just Armageddon like on Earth. To them, the end of the world means the end of all things. Everything. Well, did you tell the captain about this? He wants answers, not ghost stories. To make matters worse, we've been trying to send a distress signal to the nearest Confed starbase. It's only a few systems away. But our link through the jump has been cut. Well, that would mean that the relay station in the harass system was out of commission. Good guess, Bright Eyes. So, tell me something. What's a lieutenant commander doing down here in pilot country? Well, I guess adrenaline and testosterone have always appealed to me more than brass. You know, a very smart person once told me that that is a dangerous combination. <laughs> Casey. Good luck. with his drink. I didn't see the do not disturb sign, sorry. What was it like? What was what like? Being the Iceman, son. Must have had a free ride straight through the academy. I never had a free ride. Not to the academy, not anywhere. <laughs> Get off it, Casey. Your old man was a great war hero. Yeah, he was a hero, all right. One of the most decorated pilots of the Confederation. So good, they named a flight maneuver after him. Only problem is, he died when I was just a kid. I think my mother got his last medal when I was in diapers. No, having a hero for a father was no help to me. If anything, I spent my career trying to live up to the reputation of a man I never knew. Every time I fly, I feel like I'm flying against him. <laughs> You're probably better off. My father was alive, but you never would have known it. He was a cultural anthropologist. Then Confed Intel got a hold of him, put him to work in the Kilrathi War. Spent years studying the Kilrathi. Their history, their technology, to get an edge, he used to say. And then he couldn't even talk about it. It's funny. I wanted to be just like him. Well, maybe you are. So what do you think we're up against here, Zero? What about the Nathrak? Well, my father was the real expert. I only heard the word Nathrak once or twice before, and it was in relation to some ancient Terran biblical text and a race called Nephilim. Thought it was a fairy tale, really. I can remember being so scared, I had to sleep with the light on for days. Ah, the hell. Doesn't matter anyway. You know, we're alike, you and I. We both fly to outrun our father's shadows. Ha 
I'm there, Frosty, 200%. I'll see you on deck. Okay. He's right. Dallas's number was up. Please. Damn. We are gathered here today to pay our last respects to our honored dead. Those who have fallen to protect that which we hold dear. We mourn their loss and vow that they have not died in vain. They now return to the stars from which they came. May those stars serve to remind us of their sacrifice and of our duty. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Amen. We lost some good pilots out there today. Good people. Welcome to the wonderful world of armed aggression. So then, I come up on a six, right? Just like this, boom! Splat on the windshield. <laughs> Bug spray. <laughs> Give it a rest. Maniac. <laughs> well, I'd like to, hot shot. But then I rest too long, one of you might accidentally catch up to me on the kill board. You'd like that, wouldn't you? How about some good old-fashioned respect for the dead? Sir. <laughs> Look who talks! He's a my little plebe friend. Hey, I sit on my butt for too long. Just because some cherry can't hack it and gets killed, my back! Hey, oh, come on! about your little struggle today. You know, I've known Maniac for a long time. He's very good at hiding his emotions behind a lot of hot air, but uh, his heart's basically in the right place. You can't let him get to you. You here to arrest me, sir? Me? No, no, no. I had a word with the CAG. I think she's prepared to chalk this one up to severe stress and anxiety. I wouldn't try it again, though. Don't thank me all at once. I'm sorry, sir. It's just that... I thought all this would be different. What? This, everything. You know, when I was on the flight line, flying with everyone else, taking chances, risks, it well, didn't seem to matter that much. Then it became clear. We fly with death every day. It's what we do. We fight. We struggle. We even lose friends. And that became clear to me when I lost someone that I really cared for. When was that? Oh, about 4,000 years ago. What you do is important out there, Casey. It is damn important. It's important to these men, to the ship, to our home. Don't let anyone stand in the way of what you need to do. You sound almost... Envious. Maybe I am, Casey. Maybe I am.
rest of you please be seated. We have a lot of work to do. Lieutenant Casey, this is a critical mission for us. After going over the roster, I've decided your wingman will be... Me. I'll be Casey's wingman. I'm not sure this is such a good idea. You need a seasoned pilot out there. Now, these kids are good, but I'm the best you've got. Mr. Casey, you'll recap your mission specs with your new wingman. The rest of you are dismissed. Good luck. To you all. Congratulations, sir. Don't congratulate me yet, Lieutenant. It's been years since I flew my last mission. Are you kidding? You'll be fine. Besides, it's not every day that a guy gets to fly with a legend. <laughs> you know, Casey, the problem with being a legend is, uh, well, they always expect you to win. Oh, you don't have to win this time, sir. You just have to try to keep up. Key frequencies and the short focus transmitters can't step over their signal. It doesn't stop there. The main relay transmitter's still inoperative. We can't send a wake up call to Confed. You've got to keep the bad boys busy until we can get this baby online, all right? Do it. I thought you should know. The captain has recommended you be transferred to the Black Widow Squadron and promoted to First Lieutenant. I don't deserve it, sir. I'm sorry, Lieutenant? I said I don't deserve it. And why is that exactly? Blair... No, Blair knew the risks. Your team takes that same risk every time you go out there. There was nothing else he could have done. Nothing. Thanks to you and Blair. The relay transmitter has been repaired, and we've sent a warning to Confed HQ. Now, Mr. Casey, what I want you to do is stow your gear and head to pilot country. You need a break. It's either that or medical. That's an order. Please. Just take one of those right there. That's for you, Cap. That's for you, Lisa. Go right ahead. And there you go. Enjoy! Let's just top that off for me. Have it. Hey! Casey! There he is, my little boy. Making his mama maestro so proud! Why? Why? Obviously, you haven't heard. We've been promoted to the highest coveted Black <laughs> Widow Squadron! Yes! Oh, I split her. Let up. Who cares? She's probably on a pack of ice somewhere. She's not our boss anymore. Rachel. Rachel, yes! Hi, I mean, guys. Good to see you. How are you? Would you like a drink? I would love one. Here you go. Just one for Thank you. you. Join the celebration. Well, to good friends. To very good friends. Yes. Master, do you mind if I borrow Casey for a little while? Enjoy. Come on. great guy, you know. I'm the best pilot in Confed. People look up to me. So, so tell me this, why is it I can never get the girl? I mean, do some guys have all the luck, or is it just me? It's you. 
What? Kind of a backwards kind of... Chief, sorry to interrupt. The CAG would like your analysis of the spy eye data that came in from Talon Meth. Just when things were getting interesting. All right, I'm on it. All right. Thanks. Spy eye data? Yeah. From the probes that we launched into the nearby systems in our sector, there are our, our eyes and our ears right now. Well, can I help? No, you're sweet. Besides, you should stay with your friends tonight. There'll be another time. I'm proud of you, Flyboy. You know what? Here, bottles on me. I'll see you later. Thanks. Please come in and get seated. All right, then. Let's go over your mission objectives. Oh, and one more thing. Major Marshall. Oh, uh, uh, present. Major, you are now in command of the Black Widow Squadron. I expect your Bravo Wing to provide backup for Alpha. Yes, sir. You're dismissed. What's the problem, Major? After all these years, to finally have my own squadron. To be in control? Yeah. To be in command? Yeah. To be the one they string up when your squadron screws the pooch on a mission? <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, wait a minute. Rough mission, Casey? Yeah. Hmm. So you let one get past you. It happens. Besides, I picked up the buoy anyway. Just dropped it off at Science Division's lab. They seemed pretty excited. Coming? Yeah, I think I gotta, um, uh... I'll get the next one. Suit yourself. See you in pilot country. What's up with Major Happy Feet over there? Beta flight got cut up pretty good out there. One of them didn't come back. Anyone we know? How's life on the edge, Mr. Squadron Commander? I heard you lost one of your adoring fans. I've got a good pilot MIA, and I come back to this. Does the SAR have a line on your pilot? No. He ejected into the asteroids. There's no sign of him. And the CAG. The CAG's pulled my boys off rotation to get a straight eight. That includes me, so... I can't even go out and look for my own guy. <laughs> it gets better. Word is... The aliens are scooping up every pilot they can get their hands on from wherever. I bet they're not serving them milk and cookies. What's that smell? What? Was 
looks at me. Some stinks. It's, it's not me. It's... I'll tell you what it is, Major. It's the plebe that's going out into the asteroids to save your wingman. Flying Ace. I'm sure he's glad to be home. Uh, looks like you're getting quite a reputation around here. Never a moment's rest. Chief here, I'm on my way. Good flying. Thanks to new recon... Thanks to new reconnaissance data, Tactical is now certain that a large enemy fleet is massing in this system. Undoubtedly, their prime target will be the Midway. Reports indicate the enemy hasn't spotted us yet, so we may have the element of surprise on our side. Now, I suspect what I'm about to say will rub some of you the wrong way. The squadron you are rendezvousing with is from one of the feudal planets of the Kirathi Empire, manned by the Tagabrin clan. Oh, great. Th now we're flying with the cult of Sivar? Why don't we just dig up Tolwyn while we're at it? Sir, you can't be serious. Those religious zealots have been raiding our colonies ever since we knew Kilra. They'd love to have another crack at us. And that'll be quite enough out of you both, unless you'd like to do your belly aching in the brig. Look around you. We don't have the luxury of picking and choosing our allies right now. We either work with the cats or we die. Is that understood? Do it. Dismissed. needed their beauty sleep. <sighs> I've given up sleep. How long have you been up? Oh, 72 hours, maybe. You can't keep doing that to yourself. Sooner or later, it's going to affect your work, not to mention your health. So what makes you burn the midnight oil? Well, now that we found a way to cut through the alien jamming, we finally made contact with the cats on Eloy. And? And... What I found was very strange. It seems that after the capital city of Eloy was attacked and destroyed, most of the Kilrathi disappeared. Disappeared? You mean, were killed? No. I mean disappeared. Apparently, the aliens took a great many prisoners. Thousands. The few who remained sent me a data bundle on the alien craft. I'm processing that now, but... But what? As soon as I uploaded the data, I lost all contact with the Kilrathi. All the systems checked out. They're just not there. It's almost as if... As if the Eloi had been consumed. Like in the Kilrathi prophecy.
all right? Missed you at mess this morning. Yeah, I wasn't hungry. You weren't in the mood to eat. That's not the same as not being hungry. Do you have a point, Colonel? Blair. You're still blaming yourself for what happened. It's tearing you up inside. I can see it. You having nightmares about him yet? <sighs> Sit down, Lieutenant. You know, on one of the first missions, the last war, I lost three wingmen, including two bunk mates. I was ready to sign for a psych discharge. I was a wreck. I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat. I just kept seeing their faces every time I closed my eyes. And this major took me aside. He said, they're dead and you're not. Get used to it. How easy for him to say. Yeah. But not so easy for him to sign on as my wingman. Which he did. Next mission out, he's got my six. I'm not in the groove yet. He had to kill a clan of cats until I got myself together. Who was it, Blair? Your father. My father? Now get some sleep, get some to eat, forget about Blair. You're a good pilot, and you're still alive. You should try to stay that way. Is that what my father would have said? All right, people, we have a lot of ground to cover. You'll find your mission data on your ISIS. Let's get started. So these are your mission objectives. And if there's no further feedback from Hawk or Maniac, then you are dismissed. Good luck. You okay? I joined this man's space force to skin cats, not to hold their paws. <sighs> I feel like I was better off in the Union of Border Worlds. At least there we knew who our enemies were. Look, Hawk, you like it or not, you're gonna have to put all this behind you. Like I did with Blair. You taught me that. You ever read the mission report on the day your dad went KIA? Yeah, he was on a deep space patrol in the Bashir system when the Karathi jumped him. But one small detail was omitted from that report. Blair found his life pod, brought it in. Iceman was inside. In pieces. The cats pulled him in, had their fun, and sent him home. Not exactly a hero's death, huh? So we omitted it from the mission log to spare the family. Trust me, kid. I know you're trying to help. But I owe those cats a whole lot of payback. And so do you. I'll see you on deck.
hell happened out there? I don't know. I really don't know. So how long do I rate the silent treatment, Colonel? You expect a pat in the back for not telling the brass I wanted to hose those cats? <sighs> and I suppose I should have helped you murder them. No, you should be proud of yourself. It's not every day a rookie pilot can rescue a gang of Kilrothi terrorists. Those Kilrothi were flying worn-out ships, Colonel. What's your point, Lieutenant? They're a pathetic pack of burnouts fighting a war that's been over for years. People like that... People like you... should be pitied. <clears throat> but they're still the enemy. We're, Hawk. We're. Right now, there's a new enemy out there. It's got the Kilrathi on the run. And we're next. I'm a good pilot. I'm still alive. Maybe I should plan to stay that way. That's good advice. from that confed signal buoy you guys brought back. Eh, no touch. What's it doing here? Well, I needed the special comm equipment in this tie-in to test a theory. And? And using some key codes I found in this assembly, we now have several critical pieces of the puzzle to break our alien friend's codes. Sounds complicated. It is. Here. This is a transmission we intercepted recently. Coded in two parts. The first part goes like this. Not a lie. What does that mean? No idea. However, according to what our ugly friend just said, another data from the Kilrathi, Dula 7 was once a Kilrathi starbase. Now the aliens occupy it. That's very strange. You ain't seen nothing yet. I just now finished this run on the second part of the transmission. Check it out. Oh, it looks almost organic. On the money. Single nucleus, double helix DNA, S7 ribosomes. I swear, if I didn't know any better, these were animal cytologic scans. Uh, tissue samples, Casey. Very thorough tissue samples. Possibly human. Well, that would mean... That the aliens are dissecting humans for study. So, the unaligned are... Us. And Blair. Was flying recon and got jumped by two squadrons of bad guys. By any chance he ejected? Yeah, his ship broke up. SAR never even picked up any homing signals from an eject pod. He's not coming back. Hmm. Sorry. Didn't realize you two were that close. Yeah, we had the same teacher. Yeah, she's sorry. Come on. Hawk, 
was a good man. Hawk was nuts. All work, no play. Real load of laughs. You sound like you didn't like him. I understood him. He couldn't help being who he was. Cats made him that way. Hawk's home planet was my lot too. Colony at the edge of the rim. One of the cats' first targets in the Galactic War. They terraformed it with proton bombs. How did Hawk survive it? He was away at the Academy. Came back to find everything and everyone he had ever known had been blown to dust. Hawk died on my lawn too. Today is just a formality. Hey, kid. Hawk would have wanted you to have that. This is it, people. The Marines are landing on Dula 7. <laughs> okay. Our mission is to gather as much strategic data as we can on our alien friends and to retrieve any and all human prisoners. Yeah! Pilots, check your ISIS. Let's go to it, people. Dismissed. Congratulations. The captain has recommended you for the Silver Star. To hell with that. What about the prisoner the Marines brought in? It's Blair. But, Casey, you should know. Oh. If I didn't... I don't want you blaming yourself for what happened to me. You did the right thing. You stayed with Decker and the men. <sighs> Excuse me. My new friends bounced me around a little bit. Well, at least they didn't... slice you and dice you. No. mind though deeply they dredged up memories <sighs> Telamon Admiral Tolwyn the destruction of Kilra Angel everything I ever hoped to forget and I relived every moment. And then, they let you find me. Well, they are fascinated by us, Casey. Our ability to kill without remorse, without pity. Our darker nature. But who are they? Death.
Gentlemen, let's get started, shall we? Check your ISIS for mission objectives. Very well. Get to it. Be careful out there. Dismissed. Attention, attention. This is not a drill. Lieutenant, just a moment. We've been getting comms from a cat on Eloy. He says he's well acquainted with you and your hairless clan. Yeah, Hawk and I saved his ass. Well, in between insults, I get the distinct impression he'd like to return the favor. That would be strange. No doubt. It's a strange world, Lieutenant. Nice piece of work, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir. I only wish Hawk could have been here to see this. Casey, they never would have supported us if you hadn't helped him in the first place. Fine job. Thank you, sir. seen a ghost. Two of them. Vanguard and Cantrail, two rookies I took out today. They pull a frontal in front of a bunch of fighter clusters, boom, gone. It happens. It, it's never happened to me, all right? I charge a hundred clusters, I, I never get a scratch. And you can't see why your luck didn't cover those rookies. It's not about luck, Major. About the one thing that matters. And that is that you did the best you could to help those rookies survive, which is all a good squadron commander can ever do. That's supposed to make me feel better. It does. Almost. Good. Low bridge. Casey, I, um, you're welcome. We have entered a crucial time in this conflict. The good news is, thanks to Lieutenant Commander Finley's work, we are now able to jam the alien comms so they can't call for help. However, it is imperative that all remnants of the alien attack force be eliminated. Please check your mission profiles. Okay. Remember, if any alien ships are allowed to escape, they could alert their main force that Confed reinforcements have entered this system, and we may not survive that. I want them hunted down. Every single one. Do you read me? Yes, sir! Very well. Dismissed. Fine work, Casey. I want you to know I've decided to recommend you for the Confed Flying Cross. Thank you very much, sir. Don't let it go to your head, mister. Carry on. As you were. A live feed's coming in from a spy eye position near a main alien base. You all need to see this. 
Our analysis indicates that this is one of two seemingly identical ships that attacked the Kilrathi fleet in the Horeca system. This one appears to be in dry dock. We think the cats may have damaged this alien ship before they were wiped out. This is what a concentrated plasma weapon can do to a fleet. Either we stop this ship killer, or Midway's next on the menu. Commander? Pilots? Please check your ISIS. Intelligence reports indicate enemy opposition will probably be heavy. Watch your backs out there, people. Dismissed. See, you don't know. You don't know. Because Blair would fly on my wing, okay? Because Toll and Eyes, they always they check with the maniac. Okay. You a border wielder? Come here, come here for a second. Ah. <laughs> Casey! Get my only friend, my only friend. Come here, come here, let's celebrate. Celebrate. What are we celebrating? <sighs> my voluntary demotion. I am no longer a squadron commander. What? But I thought you always dreamed of running your own squadron. Dream? Yeah. Ha, it's more like a nightmare. They keep the pilots whining all day about stats. You got the CAG screaming for results. It's all pain, no gain. It's, here, hey, that's toast. That's toast. Maniac and Casey, all right? To the free and easy life of the wing commander. I got that medal for you, kid, huh? Well, give the CAG a kiss for me, all right? You gonna be all right? I'm the maniac, of course I'm gonna be all right. But listen, hey, hey, Casey, listen. Uh, you take my advice, all right? They're giving you the medals, you rake them in. When they want you to be squadron commander, you tell them to shove it. All right? All right. We'll chalk up another one for the maniac. Attention! Congratulations, Lieutenant. It's not every day a member of my command receives the Confed Flying Cross. Wear it with pride. It's well deserved. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Assembly dismissed. Good job. Thank you. Well done. Thanks. A Confed Flying Cross and a promotion to the Midway's newest badass squadron? Not a bad day's work. Hey, you guys got promoted to the wolf pack with me. Where we will no doubt be hopelessly lost in your shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's celebrate! <laughs> from the databanks of the ship killer we just captured. So you're saying the wormhole these aliens are using as their invasion point is artificial? Well, artificially induced over a potential anomaly in their system which allows them access into confed space. It took massive planning to pull this off, even with their technology. Here, look. After also analyzing the data from the beacon, Tactical thinks that the aliens' initial foray into the system was recon only. I don't think they expected to find us here. 
In any case, they didn't bring their whole fleet in. There's more. Look closer at this structure. They're clearly reinforcing it for a permanent passage. And those plumes? Well, judging from the IR emissions, they could be the equivalent of cooling towers for the power array. The amount of heat generated to hold open a physical anomaly this size must be massive. So what would happen if we took those out? Mm, could cause an overload, but I don't yet know enough about their technology to be sure. Might not matter. Judging from this, the towers appear heavily shielded. Probably take a full-on torpedo hit. We need to find a way to shut the whole array down, and soon. No problem. We have our new plasma weapons. Yes, problem. Even if we worked around the clock to get this thing to even work with our technology, which I'm not saying we can. I'm not sure we won't blow ourselves to kingdom come the first time we try to use it. Be sure. This may be the only chance we've got. Thanks to Lieutenant Casey's success in his last mission, we can now use our new plasma weapon to hit the enemy where it hurts. And that's exactly what we intend to do. Let's not celebrate too early. Now we're going to have to work twice as hard because they're going to be twice as ready. Let's begin. Give me a couple more of those big guns, and I'll carve out my own corner of the universe. I have a big gun. I have a happy gun. Cute. Attention, Captain on deck. We're at ease. Congratulations. We've cleared a path to the Kill Rod jump point. Next stop, the wormhole gate itself. Now, we must assume that our objective will be strongly defended. This job is far from over. But, Captain, won't our new toy make short work of the remaining aliens? Well, unfortunately, Lieutenant, our new toy turned out to be a fire-and-forget weapon. We fired it once, and now we can forget about using it again. Now, Commander Finley estimates that uh, if we charge it up a second time, there's a 67% probability that it will cause a fatal overload and destroy the midway in the process. Now, I'd rather not test those odds until we absolutely have to. No, we'll have to fight our next engagement the old-fashioned way. Mission by mission. And that first mission will occur right after the jump to the Kilra system. Carry on. I don't care if you bullied your way back on the roster, you're still off the flight line. The captain will eat you alive for this. The captain will let me do my job. Then why won't you let me do mine? Because you're not ready, period. The flight surgeon cleared me. The captain gave me his okay. You're the only one that says I'm not fit to fly. I'm Commander Air Group. My decision is the only one that matters. T-34. 
you read me? <sighs> I'm too old for this. And you are too damn young. You really want to do this? More than anything. I'm a better pilot than I am a staff officer. But after what they did to you... Yeah. I want to make damn sure they don't do it to anybody else. And I spent half my life fighting the Kilrathi. They were ruthless. Deadly. Compared to what we're up against now, it makes the Kilrathi look like house cats. It must be stopped. I don't care what the keg says. I gotta do my share. Period. Let's get settled. Now. Our next job is a simple one. Reduce the Dreadnought's defenses. Primary targets are her turrets. Secondaries are her bridge and engines. You can count on a lot of resistance out there, people. May I make a suggestion? Midway launched a volley of training missiles in the Dreadnought's direction. We could distract her fire. Give our people an edge. And you think you're a bad staff officer. As Commodore Blair suggested, expect a barrage of training missiles timed to the launch of Casey's wing. Now check your ISIS for mission details. Good luck, people. Dismissed. The wormhole gate is generated by seven heavily shielded stabilizing towers. They hold the rift open. By destroying all seven towers, the wormhole could be made to collapse. The midway will retreat to a safe distance, drawing the enemy's attention, while two vampires escort a marine LC to the gate's command center. Check your ISIS for mission specifics and assignments. You've all come a long way. Make Midway proud. Dismissed. Unless we shut down the shields on that last tower, Casey's wing can't close the gate. And an entire enemy fleet will jump in our laps. We're just gonna have to pick up where the Marines left off. Fly guy into the command center. He kills the shields, Casey's wing kills the tower. <laughs> oh, I see this coming a mile away. What, what we need is a bona fide hero. Excuse me, any heroes? In, no. Any heroes in the room at all? You're looking at him. Now is not the time. And I've done hard time on one of their ships. And you're mad as hell and you want to kick some alien ass. I'm the best pilot for the job and you know it. Patricia, I think we need him. Now. All right. You're taking two wingmen for backup. Just like old times. That's what I was afraid of.
us some more boys and bug it out. You get to your ship. Understood. See you back at the midway. Attention all personnel, this is Blair. Evacuate enemy station immediately. Computer, how long before destruct? SAR picked me up. It's too close for my comfort. What about Blair? He didn't make it. Something must have gone wrong. How's Confed's newest hero? Fine. Then why aren't you at the party on the flight deck? I was just thinking. About Blair? I wonder what he'd say right now. I don't know. But I bet he'd be very proud. Remember this? The Consulate General's private reserve? They'll be back, you know. Yeah. I know. But for now. 
What do we drink to then? To Blair? And to fighting the good fight. Comrades in arms. Oh, no. 